Lagt i brak I mangfoldige år Og byen har glemt oss I skyggen vi står Men nå er vi tilbake Der vi hører til Tilbake i toppen I verdens vakreste spill For vi er åsene Vi er åsene vi skal kjempe som helter mot all slags press For det som er dyre, for mye det er alt gress Vi er jo Åh, og sanne Når kampen er vunnet Når skalpen er tatt Ja, da skal vi feire Som gal og besatt For dette er klubben Av kjøtt og blod her finnes ingen stjernenøkker Her går vi to og to For vi er åsene Vi er åsene Vi skal kjempe som helter mot all slags press For det som var dyre på mitt av gress Vi er åsene For dette er plassen Dette er mitt sted alt i verden Ja, det her jeg finner fred For her har vi blomstret Her skal vi svinne hen Og selv når vi er borte Så står klubben igjen Vi er åsene Vi er åsene Vi skal kjempe som helter mot all slags press Og dø som har tid av på middag Vi er åsene Vi skal kjempe som helter mot all slags press Og dø som var dyre på mine av gress Vi er jo Åh, 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 åh
So I played on my own a little bit yesterday. A few hours. The last game we played yesterday was... Uh, let's see here. Okay, so we tied Gank 1-1 in the Champions League. That's the away game. 0-0 zero, zero, Molde. 3-2... Yep, we lost at home 3-2 against Gang. This was the last game that I played yesterday, I believe. And then, like I said, uh, we tied Molde 0-0 at home. 1-1 away at Gang. We got knocked out by Gang, guys. It was, uh, it was a tough opponent for us. Um, we went to Stromgoset and we beat Stromgoset 4-3. 2-2. At Levski in Europa League. Third qualifying round. So being knocked out from Champions League. We downgraded to Europa League guys. We tied 2-2 away at Levski. I had to play the backups in both of this. Uh, actually the first the first uh, game I think I played the starters. Yeah I played the starters but um, the returning leg at home I had to play the backups. Because... Um, we are getting closer to Bodo Glimt. Bodo Glimt lost finally their first game this season. So we're two points behind them. And I couldn't risk uh, playing the uh, the starters. We need to give more attention to Elite Syrian this season. We beat Haugesun 4-1 away. So right now, uh, after we got knocked out by, uh, by Levski, losing 1-0 at home in the second leg of the Europa League uh, third qualifying round, um, we are going to meet uh, Bodo Glimt in our next game. The Derby of Elite Syrian, guys. Very, very exciting game upcoming next. And then uh, we're going to play in the playoff of Europa Conference League against Apollon Limassol right after. Uh, let's see who we are trying to bring in. We're trying to sell Runar Hauge for 2.8 million total. Let's see who made the offer. Girona. Okay, so we are trying to sell Runar Hauge. We got him for free and now we're trying to make some profit. It's exactly the same um, the same method we are using to each player we're bringing on a free transfer to the club. Uh, we're selling them for profit and we're trying to reinvest this, uh, this money into younger players. Uh, a good example is Magnus Brevik. He is... A Norwegian international, under-21 international, with 16 caps for the uh, under-21 national team. And uh, at only 19 years old, his current ability is 128. Definitely one of the, uh, the brightest talents uh, in Norway on this position. He can play a central defender, can play a right back. Uh, if uh, we're training him for a while, he will uh, learn the left back position. But I am trying to bring this kid in to play uh, as a central defender because at 199 cm uh, and a jumping reach of 16, uh, that's uh, that's the best position he could uh, he could play for us. So yeah, uh, we are selling Stephen Welch, guys. Um, he is not uh, willing to resign a new contract with us. So at uh, 26 years old, with one year and four months left on his contract, we decided to cash in. We got him for 140,000 from Celtic, and right now we are selling, as you can see here, to we're selling him to Michtiland for uh, 3.4 million. So I'm gonna make a decent profit with this uh, with this guy too. He's a key player for us, but bringing Magnus Brevik. Uh, we'll, uh, you know, we'll forget. We'll, we're we're going to forget about Steven, Steven Welsh in, in in split of a second if we bring Brevik. Still, we need to raise some funds because um, it's going to be a costly 3 point... No, 3 million and with clauses, future clauses, is going to go up to 9.25 million. Right now, in, in uh, our balance overall balance we're down uh one million three hundred seventy two thousand and for transfers we have available one million eight hundred twenty nine thousand so we need another one million two hundred to complete this deal 
we're good on the wages so he's uh, not too um expensive like he's he's um he's not asking for too much money per per season so yeah we'll uh we'll see if we're selling welsh and how get we will have enough money guys we'll have money to to sign brevik because um the finances let's see here okay why the music stopped first of all just one moment guys okay we're disconnected from the internet that's why okay so with that being said let's um start music from my other folder until we are reconnecting just a moment all right sorry for that guys uh, we are gonna recon reconnect very very soon it is what it is it's happened before it's gonna happen again some outages in my area and uh, some scheduled maintenance uh, here in the building so let's continue all right like i said we are going to be able to sign uh, brevik if steven walsh and runar hauge are gonna leave so with uh three million from uh no from uh from with uh, 1.8 million from runar hauge and 2.2 2 million and probably with future clauses 3.4 million um we'll have enough money to sign brevik the problem with this is that we only have 60% of transfer revenue available. So we're going to get from 5 million, 60% from 5 million. So yeah, I think we're good with the release of the wages with both of these two players. Still, I think we can complete that deal. Let's press continue. We're going to play Bodo Glimt in two days. We have tired players. We need to find out um, the best starting 11. For this game uh, it's a probably a title decisive game we're gonna we're gonna try to line up the best team we we have available we're playing at home in front of the fans it's uh, definitely not an easy game two points behind bodoglin guys we're in the league like um like you see here right now let's stretch the league table two points behind bodo glimt and we have six points in front of lillestrom who is third so for us even the second place is not bad uh for the next season we're not gonna play champions league if we finish second we're gonna play only europa league uh because norway lost some um some points in the uh european coefficients or uh, I don't know how to uh, pronounce that, but if you understand the reputation of Norwegian League, the Elite Syrian is lower now, so that's why uh, we're not going to play uh, Champions League if, you if we finish second. Only the first team will play in the qualifiers of Champions League. I hope the internet connection will be back soon. anyways we had few days a few good days where we uh we didn't have you know connection issues they were back at it i guess okay let's uh line up the starters so niku balac romach for seal stud uh butalezi Zamburek, Gelhart, Kamanzi, Kamanzi, we're gonna move Kamanzi on the left. Vale again injured for how long? Two weeks. 
such an injury prone player. Matazo for Butelezi. And we switch actually Butelezi and Matazo as a Metzala. Hannibal on the left for Hauge. Mzimela on the bench. Uh, oh yeah, we have Per Gunnar Lages and we're going to give him a face as soon as we uh, bring the other Norwegian uh, central defender that I just showed you. Uh, we're going to give them uh, some faces. Let's put Rasmussen in. Rasmussen is very, very tired though. So let's play actually Butalesi. But not Shadow Striker, we're probably going to give him uh, Advanced Midfielder. So we're going to play Matazo Umzimela. He's going to start. Elias Haug, very very tired also. Umsomi, not uh, back from his injury. Man, a mess. Definitely it's a mess. We brought in Dan uh, uh, Roger Hellesvik yesterday. Forgot about this kid too. On loan, uh, we paid 1.2 million, I think. Let's see. 1.3 million uh, for two years, guys. Or one year and a half. Uh, loan from Bodo Glimt. He is a prospect. He is a future, future wonder kid, I think. At only 16 years old, with this qualities. 16 pace, 17 acceleration, 17 determination. 14 first touch, 12 dribbling, 11 crossing, 11 technique, 12 work rate, 14 flare. Yeah, he is uh, definitely uh, a player that uh, we need to keep an eye on, and uh, we're gonna give him playing time. He uh, he needs to he needs to get some playing time. Uh, we gave him number 11 because Botker left. Uh, finally, he had left the club. He went to Molde for 1.5 million. With that money, we improved uh, the team really, really well. So I don't feel bad for selling players that are young, but uh, they don't have room to improve anymore. So that was the case with Botker. Okay, Kyolo, I think, is out. Raholt. And now we can train Raholt as a pure striker, backup striker. Because Hellesvik will take his uh, role as an inside forward. Let me see. Do I train him? Yes, I do. Okay. Let's press continue and see in two days where the fitness will, uh, will be for everyone. This game is a must win. It is a must win. All right, we need to respond this, uh, for the list of Europa Conference League. So we need to put in MZ Mela. Yeah. Zero replacements. Okay. Limit. All right, press conference before the game. Still the internet is off.
in case you want to watch the whole stream without interruptions guys uh i will post everything on youtube so every day you can uh, you can watch my streams from uh, from the start to the end without any issues any internet connection disruptions that's in case you wanna find out uh what happened with our team and with the progress of our save the software that i use obs uh, is allowing me to record even though the stream is down from twitch so it's not gonna interrupt my uh my recording session so as soon as i'm done i can post this uh on youtube when of course when the <laughs> connection is back so that's the, the only good thing about this all right so somebody won to one at viking bran okay bran beat viking 2-1 so Brand now is fourth with 31 points, 10, 10 points behind us. Brand is our city rival from Bergen. Okay, I think we're back. Very soon we're gonna be back. Again, I apologize, guys. Yep, I think we're back now. Almost game day. And let me change the music since we're back. Let me double check if it's stable now. Yeah, it's stable. All right. Let's uh, change the vibe here. So we are in August 16th. The transfer window is open for another two weeks, I think. But we need to add one more player. That's it. And we're done. For, for a player let's see for who oh a loan for one of the players in our b team since we're not playing him why not actually can we sell Paris Kovang Pedersen hmm. let's try to sell though let's reject the offer and instead of loaning let's try to sell Let's do a million because you know, we know we're not going to get probably anything for him, but it doesn't hurt to try. Okay, so it's it's time, guys. 
probably the most important game of the season against Bodo Glimt and we have really really tired players unregistered players injured players Msomi will be back in three days so we can't play him so we get we got this kid for only six thousand dollars yesterday his contract was running out with Sanya Fjord I think yeah so 18 years old 188 cm Norwegian prospect is only 86 print ability but he has room to grow so for for that price I had to pull the trigger now the question is should I play him in this game it will be the first appearance for the club I would just we just got him so I'm gonna give him a face actually right now because yeah, I'm gonna give both of these two kids a face right now, so bear with me, guys. Yeah, we have to do this really quick. It's gonna take me like five minutes until everything is gonna be processed. Okay, so Brevik and the other guy is... Uh, Lagesen. All right, this guy can play the game without giving players real faces, real human faces. So, I mm, think we found him. Yep. And one more guy. Hey guys, welcome to the stream. Best Smurf Pixel. Thank you guys for joining. Sorry, I didn't check the phone. I had it here next to me, but since I knew it's way too early for um, for the stream, and I thought <laughs> Best Smurf is not gonna be here, I didn't even bother looking at the at the chat. I hope you guys are well. And let's check the other guy's face. Yeah, man. But he came back really quick, so what can you do? You know, I'm already pissed off, <laughs> but you know, that's not gonna change anything. So it's good that it came back, you know. Okay, you're going to the game in one hour and a half. Yeah, it's it's fine because it's a two hour, two hour and a half stream. So thank you guys for joining. Um, right now, really quick, I'm gonna give a, a face to to this kid. Uh, let me show you here. This guy, uh, Per Gunnar Lagesen, and uh, we're trying to bring Magnus Brevik. This guy right here. I think he's a wonder kid. 19 years old Norwegian wonder kid so just looking for a real human face for him and then we're we're starting the game uh, against Bodo Glimt let's see Okay, so there's a there's a like a FM group on Facebook 
that I checked uh, yesterday and uh, they're trying to build an app and in the future with that app every football manager user or player or whatever if you buy the game you can that app is going to help you import faces real human faces for all your regions so you don't you just have to press one click and that's it your save is going to have forever until you you're done with it uh real human faces for um for the regions you know but they need you know they need funds so they're trying to to raise some funds to build that app you know they have the software but they need you know more stuff so that's uh exciting news Yeah, I think I got him. Brevik. All right, it's going to take like three minutes until it's going to process the new faces. And then we are going to clash with Bodo Glimt for the league title. So if we win this game, we're going to be in front of them by one point. If we lose, then it's kind of over because I think we're having 10 games left. And with five points, if they have five points in front of us, yeah, it's kind of tough for us to, to come back. We have um, games in Europe still, so... After this game with Bodo Glimt, we're gonna play Apollon Limassol. We're gonna play the backups. Honestly, I don't care if, we, if we're gonna qualify to Conference League or not. I was disappointed when we got knocked out by Gank, so... Uh, the target is Champions League. Conference League is gonna give you what, like two million if you qualify, and then there's more, there's more games, but meaningless games in the league phase. We all know we're not gonna get too far even here, even if you qualify for the knockout stages of uh, the Conference League. Uh, it's it's pointless in my opinion. We need uh, it's better for us to 
focus on elite Syrian, try to get as many points we can, avoid injuries, avoid tiredness, and then next season go again for Champions League. If somehow, through a miracle, we're gonna win the league. It's getting frustrating because it's already 2026 and we didn't win anything here. But with the players that we are bringing in right now, we're raising the levels. So, fingers crossed. Almost there, guys. Oh, you're gonna play today. Well, good luck, Best Smurf. Good luck for your game today. And, um, yeah, good luck uh, for your, uh, up in Stavanger on Friday. I hope you're gonna have fun and uh, I hope you guys win. <laughs> you never know. Laptop is kind of slow. Uh, it's not that bad. Four hours with the bus. Yeah. It's kind of fun, you know. You go with the team. You know, you break the routine because, you know, traveling is always fun, actually. I like traveling. I'm gonna go uh, so from the 3rd June to the 8th I'm gonna be uh, away from the city I'm gonna go to Vegas with my wife it's like a gift for my b-day and then we're back uh, on the 8th but I'm gonna stream the first uh, stream after the my you know my vacation is gonna be on the 9th so, all right we're back Thank you. Thank you, man. I hope uh, it's going to be fun. We went there last year, but it was um, with my parents and with my uncle. So this time we're just me and her, you know. Uh, last year it was right after we got married. And right now it's like more like a, you know, birthday gift. <laughs> this trip. And then in September we'll probably uh, celebrate our one year anniversary. We're probably going to go to Florida. This is where we like it, you know. Usually, Florida is the best, but uh, right now it's the, you know, the hurricane season there, so it's gonna rain a lot. Vegas is gonna be really, really hot though, because we're getting closer to <laughs> to July soon, so it's gonna be scorching hot. Uh, let's check the the faces first. So Per Gunnar Lagesen 
six thousand dollars six yeah six point twenty five thousand from sandia fjord 86 current ability but decent potential so we will see thank you that's murphy appreciate it uh and who else we got uh phase four yeah um magnus brevik so he is 19 years old from valerenga he will be a beast in the future i think this guy is a wonder kid even now like if we're looking at the attributes like he's uh he's right there I don't know why why he doesn't have a cap already for the for the national team for the senior national team. He's really good. You want to go to the World Series of Poker in Vegas? Yeah. I'm not uh, I'm not into poker. I even don't know the rules. I know a little bit, but not you know not enough to play the game. But yeah, it must be fun, you know. <laughs> It must be fun. Alright, so... We're gonna play... I guess we're gonna play... Lagesen. I'll give him... The chance to impress. We're starting with... Peterson in the goal. Kamanzi, Hauk, Lagesen, Romach, Matazo, Umzimela, Hannibal, Butelezi, Gelhardt, and Balach, guys. It's gonna be a tough game. Let's go. Uh, did I check the training levels? Hold on a second. Let's not rush into this. No, I didn't. Let's do that. Nacional and Millonarios are coming to Miami. Oh, I didn't know that. When? When, Pixel? <laughs> yeah it's not cheap man it is really expensive though july 8th are you gonna go pixel nacional oh for sure you're gonna go anything for for atletico nacional <laughs> Warren Kamanzi. Ruglen Re. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, well, especially if they go to New York. Yeah, that's, that's a given. You will be there. And man, yesterday I had a, I had so much fun. I was betting live, just you know, just to waste some time because uh, me and my wife we were about to go shopping and she was getting ready and I was like, ah, let me just do some live betting. And it, it was um, Aliari and Parma, dude. So I placed, I placed a twenty dollar bet that they're gonna score another goal. It was two one for Parma. They tied, so I placed um another bet for for Cagliari to score and then again another bet that they're gonna win and they both hit so i made like a hundred bucks yesterday just in few minutes it's, it's crazy sometimes sometimes nothing hits like you're losing so much money and sometimes you just you don't even care and boom just like that yeah All right, let's check for additional training really quick. Pero Romach, ball control. Shooting. Yeah, uh, that strategy that, that I played before with uh, over 
0.5 goals before halftime or first half goals or you know the way we played before when we were betting uh live uh with minor tweaks i think you know it, it could work like i said yesterday again uh repeating myself uh, the uh, the tweak is to watch the games, not only monitor it on uh, SofaScore. If you watch the game live, uh, you can make your own decision based on what you see, not on the that graph. Because the graph is not everything. It's like sometimes it's really not actually what's happening on the pitch. So by watching the game live, it's a game changer. And this is what I did yesterday. There was a ton of pressure from Cagliari. Like, the goal was in the air, so that's why I was like, "Yeah, let's let's do it. <laughs> let's pull the trigger." Ball control. All right, we're ready done done so if we're not beating bodo glint right now uh, at least let's tie the game so we can keep those you know the, the two points difference at least we're missing one of our key central defenders we're playing the the new kid that we brought in for just six thousand a lot of pressure on him we're gonna give him the chance to impress <laughs> the very first appearance for the club is against bodo glint so good luck to you kid we're going we're doing well and we're on a good run okay yeah well let's give the players a little boost of confidence yeah uh, i'm telling you uh Bessmurf, if you watch the game because like when we used to bet uh, i was not watching the games live i was just looking at the graph but by watching the game it's totally different for me oh yeah well definitely uh, that's just like a you know like a plan in the future if uh, when i come back from vegas if you know if people will be interested i might bring back those uh, streams but i'm sorry bad smurf i'm sorry like you know, in your private like life, uh, things are not going well. I hope it will be better. I don't know uh, what's happening, but I hope you stay strong, man. Uh, we're here with you. And I agree with you. Sometimes life is not fair. yeah no matter what's going on in your life just to you know to let you know we're here for you we're your friends you know if you feel comfortable you can share with us in private about your stuff you know if you're not comfortable i'm good with that you know i understand but you know we're always here for you so just stay strong as i said to print bag you know with um the problems he has with his wife you know the only thing you can do is just be strong because you know otherwise um it's gonna get even tougher you know funny thing and i said this before football manager for me it's not just a game sometimes football manager helped me to just disconnect from the real life you know from the real world and the problems i had in the past so it's like it's a game but it's also a therapy for me so okay let's get back to the game here 
Come on, the yellow card. We have to make sure he's not going to get the red. We're dominating so far. And one nothing. What a goal by Gilhart. Yeah, best Murph, no worries, man. You don't have to. I'm just saying, like, if that's going to make you feel better, if that's going to help, you can share. If not, you know, no worries, man. Totally understand. Huge, huge goal for Gelhart. Let's see if it was an offside. No, it wasn't. Butalezi 6-6. Six, six. Okay, so one thing that I want to do is change Butalezi's role. Okay, we already did the yellow card. Let's go to the tactic really quick. Because um, Butalezi is more like a deep line playmaker. So for this game, we're going to use him as an advanced or attacking midfielder with attack duty. Not a shadow striker because his finishing is not uh, not even 10, I think. So he's uh, playing better as an attacking midfielder. Matazo Butelezi for Romac. Romac with the cross and Hannibal for finishing. Six five Matazo. Hmm. Okay, it's good that we're dominating. But we can't relax because Bodo Glimt is always ready to score. Now a counter-attack for Bodo Glimt. 40th minute of the first half. Uh, offside. Thank you. Haug. Matazo. Mzimela. Gelhart. Gelhart. Balach, come on. Ah, oh, bad, bad first touch. Lagesen. <laughs> A ballsy move by me to give him the start against Bodo Glimt. <laughs> Best Murph. It's okay, man. Even if you get a red card, just have fun, you know. Don't don't break anybody's legs. <laughs> Even if you come with a late tackle, at least don't touch the guy, you know, don't touch his his leg. And do nothing. And it's an offside. Ah. ah. Let's see. Nope, it's gonna stand. Wow, we're so lucky. Butalezi here. Trying to cross to Balac. Balac can't score. And from the rebound, Hannibal puts it in 2 0. And now we're on top of the league, guys, again. Is this the season where we actually and finally bring it home? Come on. And immediately Bodo Glimt trying to to get back into this uh, into this fight. Yeah, I know I got I got your your point. I'm just trying to make a joke. I know you're not trying to hurt anybody, man. Uh, brilliant first half.
All right. No, I'm not going to change anyone. Elias Haug is a little tired. Also, Romach and Hannibal. So we need to keep an eye on these players. Haug. Peterson. Lagesen. For Balach. Balach with a good, good assist here. Nothing comes out of this. Hmm. Me too. I never had a red card in my career. Even, um, like I said, even in Romania, never. Trying to avoid conflict. Lagesen. Decent performance so far from the kid. Butalezi. Butalezi on the right. Can we score a third one and get the three points? Because if we score one more, I, I don't think Bodo Glint can come back. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And it's over. What a what a mistake by their defense. 3 nothing. Butalezi. The new Wonder Kid we bought from South Africa. From Kaiser Chiefs, I think. So Romach with the cross, big, big mistake there from Bodoglimt defenders. And we can relax now, 3 nothing. Huge win. We needed this so bad. Yeah, now it's, uh, yeah, it's very, very unlikely for, for, um, for Bodoglimt to come back. Very strong performance. I didn't expect it. Honestly, I thought we are going to lose again. We were missing some players. Yeah, it's FM. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. You are right. It happened to me. I, and I don't want to remember what happened. In my Champions League final. FM uh, 2021. No, it's 2020 or 2022. I think it's 22. Last year. Yeah, last year, with Bayern Munich, I had 3-0 at halftime. I lost 4-3 in the 94th minute because we got a red card. After 16 years in charge of my Romanian club, Pece Timisoara. Romach. Mzimela. Lagesen. Laug. Aug. Eh. Soon we're gonna make some subs. Just for... You know, fitness levels. Let's uh, wait for this highlight to end and then... I'm gonna bring in some new players. Yeah, man, that's FM for you. Hannibal, 68 minutes. Matazo, Butalezi, Mzimela. Uh, all right, let's bring in some fresh legs. So, Niku Balac, we're gonna. Sub him with Raholt. Lagesen is starting to show signs of tiredness. I mean, not tiredness, but signs of, you know, struggling. So, we're gonna sub him with Amundsen Day. Who else? Who else? 
Hannibal with Hauge because Hannibal is tired. Zamburek maybe. Or no. Oh. How about we move Gelhardt as a striker, Hauge on the right, and then let's give some playing time to our new Wonder Kid or borderline Wonder Kid from uh, Bodoglim, our Loni Elisvik, 16 years old. Let's see. And also, let's play Silstad, another 16 years old. So if it's gonna be the same this uh, this year in FM23, um, I would need another 11 seasons in charge of Asane to win the Champions League, or at least to be in the final. Because if I remember correctly, with uh, Peche Timisoara last year, I won the league in Romania relatively quick like in two three seasons i already won the league the superliga ericsson on the right 77th minute matazo Hellesvik. This guy is super fast. <laughs> Playing against his own club. An expensive loan. 1.3 million. At 16 years old. We have faith in his skills. Amundsen Day. You will test stuff with uh, with Bran next season. Okay. What uh, what do you have in mind, Batsmurf? Butalezi injured. Right after this highlight, we will sub him. Butalezi. Golazzo for nothing. In the 92nd minute, let's uh, give Rasmussen a few minutes. But what a goal by our South African superstar. Let's watch the highlight, the replay. Matazo passing to Butalezi. Great first touch and then... He went through the whole Bodoglim defense and finished. Man, four nothing, unexpected result. Oh, okay, it's a secret. Okay. <laughs> we got the three points. We got the win. Now we need to keep winning and. Um, I think we have 10 games left. So it's the same story like every year. We're doing well and then in the end we're choking. So let's let's try this season to change the history, to change our course. Uh that's good. Uh, let's see what should I say? All right. Good response by the players. And our next game is uh, in the Conference League now. Playoffs against Apollon Limassol. I think the... Yep, the first game is away. We have a decent chance to get into the league phase of the Conference League. Okay, uh, just a minor injury for Butalesi, not a big deal.
<laughs> okay. Sounds good, best Smurf. Let me know how it goes, man. So two goals for Butalezi today. Let's praise Hannibal for his goal also. He is improving visibly. And Gelhardt also. Press conference right after the game. Last year we beat, last season we beat Bodo Glimt two times, 6-1 and 5-1. But we lost the title against them. This year we tied away at Bodo Glimt and now we just beat them 4 nothing. So we're better than them apparently, but overall they, um, they get more wins in the league. They're more constant. All right, so Apple only Masol, and then in two days Lillestrom. So we have to play the the backups in the conference league. I'm sorry. This is, you know, this is impossible. Impossible to to play the starters in both of these two upcoming games. The schedule is just ridiculous. Lagesen didn't do that bad, so. Alright, Welsh is registered for this uh, competition. Until he leaves, he will play. He's about to go soon. Actually, let's double check when. Work permit. Oh, it doesn't say. It doesn't say, but very soon. No worries, Bad Smurf. Thank you for joining today and, you know, have fun, man, today. Don't worry about the result and don't get a red card. <laughs> okay, so in two days, finally, Fairwin Msomi will be back. He'll start for Romach, Amundsen Day for Haug. Man, so many players suspended. Hauge for Gelhardt, Zamburek for Matazo, Kyolo for Butelezi, Ruglandry for Peterson, Kamanzi has to play. Uh, Rasmussen left footed. Okay. Rahul suspended from the Conference League. Wow. Man. So we need to sacrifice Balach. Balach has to play. We don't have a striker. Okay, best Smurf. Thank you, man. Talk to you soon, okay? Take it easy. <laughs> Okay, so no offers for Pedersen. 
but we can get around 600,000, they say. Okay. We will continue offering this, this kid to teams. Hopefully somebody is going to give us something. Yes. Yes, I will. And thank you, man. I'll probably post some pictures from there. I'll um, post it on Discord very soon. Keep in touch. Yes, I will, Besmurf. The lion will be in Vegas. <laughs> I'm going to miss playing FM, I tell you that. Okay, David Moller Wolf. This guy is not bad. One point five million. Twenty four years old. One hundred nineteen current ability. Bronby. He played very constantly. So let's see. 1.5 million. I think it's too much. And he wants. <laughs> 900,000 per year, almost a million per year. Yeah, good luck to you. I would give 900,000 or a million to a player that is 150 current ability, not 100, 119 or 117. Yeah. But we're not at that level yet. Our highest paid player earns around 290,000 per year let me double check let's see here contract oh no right here yep 300,000 Joe Gelhart and then Stephen Welsh, 271, MZ Mela, 234, yeah. So, we're not at that level, for sure. Let's re-offer it, Pedersen. Let's do... 700,000, let's see. Okay, so finally, Hauge is leaving, guys. Girona completed the, the deal. Accept. Make part in company. You've been a fantastic servant to the club. You're welcome back anytime. Bye bye. We signed him for free and we made 2.2 million. And adjust the budget. We are ready to welcome Magnus Brevik, guys. Slowly, we're improving the team. Let's see his his skills. Yes. Not no uh, no right back. We're gonna play him ball playing defender. One ninety nine cm. This guy's huge. Let's give him number. Give him number two for now. And registration. 
the lead Syrian Brevik. Hmm. We have to play Kamanzi as a winger and left back. We're gonna play left back though. Man, can't do that. So, Kamanzi back on his original position, and we have to we have to risk. We have to play Rasmussen. As an inside forward. Yeah. We have only one, two, three, four, five, six subs for the next game. So let's see how much money we have now. We have no money. But if we have uh, almost 300,000 in wages available. And we're selling Stephen Welsh for 2 million. And with clauses can go to 3.4 million. So, um, and we also try to, we're trying to sell this kid right here. Let's try to re-offer for 650. Maybe we're gonna get one more player in. Ideally it has to be Norwegian. So the plan is to play um, Apple only my soul game guys and then we're gonna end the stream with a little strom in Elite Syrian. Two more games. Alright. We made 12 million through sales this season. Record transfer income. Finally, Msomi is back from his injury. God. This guy will be great. No, not now. Come on, Z, dude. We have to play Seelstad or no, nope, we'll play Amundsen on the left and Msomi immediately right after his injury. Ah, Bodoglim lost against Copenhagen. In the Champions League playoff, 3-1, beat it. Okay, maybe we can add more players, let's see. One replacement, okay. Brevik in. No replacement. 
Boom. So, Brevik is gonna be on the bench. We're gonna give him the start. And we'll rest him, Somi. Fairly strong left foot, very strong right foot, perfect. Welsh. So we have a strong defense. This guy I'm not too happy about, but whatever. Almost game time, guys. We'll not check the training levels, we'll do it before Lillestrom in Elysian. Feels good to be on top of the league again. Okay, let's check our schedule, right? Let's see our remaining games in Elite Syrian. The um, the only tough game that we still have is Lillestrom away. And then Bran away. Everything else, oh, Rosenborg. Yeah, three games. So Lillestrom, Bran and Rosenborg are tough. Everything else is doable. Everything else um, we can win. So it's up to us right now. We don't have to chase anybody. All right, game time, guys. Apple only muscle uh, conference league. Let's go. Magnus Brevik's debut for Asane. It's a major downgrade from the Champions League qualifiers, but we have to face the reality. And we have to get whatever we can. We have to earn our way into the Champions League, guys. We can't just hope for, you know, for playing into the best competition in Europe, but not, you know, deserve deserving it. So you have to have a quality squad. In Champions League, you face only great, great opponents. Rasmussen, Mzimela, Zamburek, Welsh, Silstad, <laughs> this guy, this guy, Amundsen Day, one of the worst deals that I made, uh, for Asane by bringing this guy in. Literally every single game when I use him, he was 6-2 or 6-3 average rating. Sometimes getting red cards, sometimes just even lower than 6. 
but because we need bodies on the bench and sometimes we we, we are forced to play this kind of players he got at least 10 10 games in elite series in this season yeah it's a, it's a horrible deal i thought he is a prospect i thought he has some potential to grow but uh no matter what position we're playing him always always just he's horrible <laughs> speaking of him he hit the post now in the 10th minute and one nothing don't tell me <laughs> Yep, he showed me. He showed me how wrong I am. Admusen Day scores for Asane in the 18th minute. That's so funny. So we're leading at Apollon. With the backups. Not all backups, but most of the players we're using this game are usually backups. Brevik. Man, he's huge. Damn, this guy is huge. Good pass for Hannibal. Kyolo for Balac. Balac. Golazzo. Do nothing. So I guess we will play in Conference League, guys. I think to qualify in the league phase of Conference League, uh, you get like 1.7 million, something like that. 1.8 million. So we'll take that. With Gilles Petrosian, you know, when I uh, I was coaching Gilles, we got to the semifinals of the Conference League, guys. So fingers crossed, we're gonna repeat this at least semifinals. <laughs> Rugland um, Sunday um, Zimela try to find Balac and now counter attack for Apollon in a 34th minute Bengson Iliev back to Bengson we're clearing the danger for now but it's still it's still them and 2-1 Welsh couldn't mark God's way easy tap in Welsh Brevik Brevik, Hannibal. Hannibal for Kyolo in the box. Amun Sende with the cross. Hannibal. Dangerous, dangerous uh, header. And corner kick for Asane. Right before halftime, guys. Can we score one more goal? Brevik. Okay, Mzimela 6.5. Not having a great game so far. Easy. Yep, it's 2-2. Two, two. It's 2-2. Two, two. We thought it's easy.
God. Brevik. Welsh and Brevik, both of them are playing like shit. 6-3 and 6-5. Mzimelak, 6-4. Okay, we need to... Talk to the players. We don't have any backups for Steven Walsh and Brevik. Actually, we have Msomi. Let's see who. Let's uh, take out Brevik. Uh, Amundsen Day for Welsh. Romach for Welsh and let's move Zilstad on the left and Romach on the right. Mzimela. Matazo. And that's it for now. And Ruglen Re, okay, with Peterson. Four subs and we leave one in the pocket. It's understandable for Brevik to to have a poor performance. Maybe he's not uh, used to the way we play yet. Yellow card for Hannibal and red card. Wait, he had a he had a yellow card and then he got a second, dude. Don't know what to do here. Mm. We'll put Gel Gelhard in and we'll use him as a winger. In Europa League against Levski, we had two red cards in both of the legs, uh, home and away. One of our players got red, got a red card. That's why, guys, we couldn't qualify further in Europa League. Not because Levski was better. Romac, Zamburek. And corner kick. 55th minute. Can we hold the lines? Can we go home with a tie? Matazo. Romach, Romach passing to Rasmussen on the right Rasmussen for Balac and Balac is getting blocked corner kick Come on guys, let's hold. Still half an hour to go. I'm 
Gelhart switches to Romach. Rasmussen in the penalty box. Looking for an option here for Matazo. But Jovanovic safe hands. We're stealing the ball. Counter attack. Gelhardt. Gelhardt in the box. Or near the box. Passing to Matazo. Rasmussen. Ah, dude. Msomi. Romac. Back to Msomi. Apollon is defending with the whole squad here. Still stud. Still stud. Gelhardt. Goal. Finally. Finally we get the goal. After dominating the game. In the second half. 64th minute. Gelhardt. And we're one man down guys. That should tell you. Uh, you know the outcome. With 11 players on the field would have been. You know. Us winning by 3 or 4 goals. Corner kick for Lev uh, Levski for Apollon. I'm still thinking about Levski from uh, Europa League. Okay, let's score one more. Uh, offside. Yep. Seventy seventh minute Zamburek for Balac. Balac back to Zamburek. Gelhardt. Gelhardt is going to look for a cross here. To Balac and post. Oh, what a chance to score the fourth goal. Romac. Still stud. Apollon is desperate to clear the ball, clear the danger. Rasmussen and Balac again with a poor, poor finish. Also getting blocked and corner kick now. Ten minutes left. Twenty shots to seven for us. Matazo with the free kick. Rasmussen 
Draw match. I think it was a penalty, but the referee decided to look away. 90th minute. We're still putting pressure on Apollon. Matazo, Zamburek, Gelhardt, and corner kick. Let's make subs. Can we make more subs? No, we can't. be nice another one even 3-2 is not bad keep it in mind that we played with one man down Almost tied the game in a 93rd minute. Romach, Msomi. Zamburek, Matazo. Anytime the referee will end the game. And corner kick, the last corner kick of the game. And Somi with the clearance. Bengson. Matazo and full time guys. 3-2 win away at Apollon Limassol. Half of the job is done. We need to win our returning leg at home and then we're into the Conference League league phase. Well done, boys. Let's praise the goal scorers, Amundsen Day. Uh, Niko Balac. All right, bad reaction. And Gilhart. All right, three days away until the last game of the stream and um, um, three games, three days away until we have a chance to get even further in front of Bodo Glimt in case they make a mistake. We have one point now, but if we win this game, uh, we can secure that uh, first place. Let's double check how many games we have left in the league. At least 10. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, 11 games. Long way to go. Let's unveil Brevik 
in front of the reporters. Keep it positive. He didn't have a great game against Apollon. We stopped him at halftime. But he needs time to adjust to our tactic. We're waiting for Welsh to leave the club to get our 2 million and try to get one more player before the transfer window shuts. Alright, let's see. Need to re offer this kid. And I have a new follower. Let's see. Hawk, thank you for uh, for joining, man. Thank you for joining the stream. Thank you for following. So we have uh, an offer from Willem Tilsburg from uh, yeah we had to we have to think about it from 550 we have to lower our expectations here so let's let's do 400 come on they they are giving us 200 all right let's do 350 Yes, 350 it is. And we sign him for free, I think. Yep, we sign him for free. Gonna make 350,000 profit. We're never gonna use him, so... Might as well sell him now. Press conference before a little strong game. Let's 
let's pray Bodo Glimt is gonna keep making mistakes. The only loss they have this season is against Molde. They lost one nothing. That's it. The whole and recently, I mean recently, the last game we beat them for nothing. So, but before we won against them, they only had one loss. So, crazy, crazy season for Bodo Glimt overall. Keeping in mind that they're playing in the cup and also they're still in the Champions League qualifying rounds. So they're playing on all fronts and undefeated. So let's go actually. Let's check their schedule. So they lost against Copenhagen 3-1 in the Champions League playoff. They lost against us. They're on a losing streak right now. And before that, they just lost against Molde every other game was either a tie or wins and in the cup they're in the yep yeah, they're in the final in the cup final too so i don't know if they're gonna be able to keep it up All right, finally Welsh is going to go, guys. Let's say goodbye to one of the best central defenders that played for Asane, Stephen Welsh. Scottish international. 2.8 million. And with clauses, it can go to 3.4 million. Uh, he's going to join Midtjylland. Make parting comment to Welsh. You have been a fantastic servant to the club. We're gonna release some um, room in the wages. And now it's time for us to look for some young, young Norwegian players. Let's see the financial situation okay because we have only 60 percent of the transfer revenue available we just got a million one hundred thirty seven thousand okay let's do a quick quick scouting trip let's see They have Enciso on loan. Available for loan. Julio Enciso from Brighton. Noah Sahsa. This guy is good. Is he Norwegian too? No, just Danish. Let's see the shortlist. this guy i would like to get this guy but he's asking for way too much money uh, for a salary so can't afford him let's go to the norwegian under 21s let's see who else can we steal from here we already got brevik who is this guy 5.5 million from eintracht frankfurt yeah 
Wellinder, Nielsen, this guy, Jan Nielsen, yeah. oh yes, he's really good, Shadow Striker maybe, uh, 1.13, Ah, boo. Really? What if we give you... 50%? Or no. Let's, let's do something else first. International. After international games, we'll give you... Another million. After 50 games for the club, we'll give you another million. And after winning Elite Syrian, another million. Come on. Will that work? Come on, let's see. Uh, 7.25 million. Dude. Okay, 1.5 and 50% too. I'll give you 50%. Yeah. Cancel. Antonio Nusa. They are willing to loan him. Antonio Nusa. Yeah, the numbers are kind of low. 21 years old already. That's so good. But us. Leipzig. Maybe this dude. Available for loan. 16. 1 million 600. They want 90% of that. But he, he is worth it though. He's worth it. Let's see. End of next season. Star player. Oh god. We have to go to town here. One twenty. Haha. <laughs> So 2.2 million if we want him for two years, I mean for two seasons. If we only do 12 months, it's 1.6 million. Benjamin Torres and Paras. And we can move. Ah. We can move Honeyball as a Shadow Striker and put this guy as an inside forward, maybe. Let's try. Maybe he's gonna reject us. I don't know, but we'll try. He's not playing for Leipzig lately. He has experience in Bundesliga. Let's scout before we pull the trigger first. Let's see. All right, let's check the training levels before we start the game.
but uh, 1.6 million is a lot of money though for 12 months I'm starting to think this this loans this expensive loans are are hurting us on a long run Some of these players are really good that we're trying to loan I agree but we could use this money to get younger prospects that you know cheaper options and in the future we can actually sell and keep making profit keep improving financially Uh, Alright, so let's check for additional training. Ball control for Brevik. Vale. Okay. Alright, let's line up the starters. And Somi and Brevik. Eliad Haug. On the bench, Romach for Silstad. Amanzi, Hamsende, Butelezi, and Mzimela, mm, Matazo. Let's see this kid. Yeah, he's not bad. Hannibal. Yeah, let's move Hannibal as a shadow striker. And uh, let's start Helesvik for this game. On the right, we have Gelhart and Niku Balac up front. Mzimela. He is improving already. Matazo, Butelezi, and Hannibal. Elisvik. Silstad, Haug. Yeah, this guy is improving too. So fast. Romach. What a player, dude. Come on. Let's sign a deal. Come on. Always he says no. Why? We're giving you the start every single game you're playing, man. Alright, so we're ready. We're, we're starting with Brevik and Umsomi in the back. Let's see how that's gonna go. Always a difficult opponent to Lillestrom. Brevik. Kamanzi. Hellesvik. Very explosive player. Super fast player. 
post. Uh, I'm surprised it wasn't an offside. Hannibal with the free kick. Oh, huge save by Biganski. Brevik. Brevik in a penalty box, getting tackled, asking for a penalty. Ah, it's... Come on, Z. Hannibal is jumping there alongside the Lilishom central defenders, winning the header, Matazo, Butelezi, Butelezi, whoa, what a strike by Butelezi. This guy is not joking. Since he joined the club, he makes the difference every single game. Look at this strike. Butelezi with a great, great strike. <laughs> yes, Pixel Vamos. One nothing away at Lillestrom. We're starting to look like champions. Gelhart. Ah. It's still early. 11th minute, but very, very good start. Amanzi, Brevik, Butelezi for Hannibal, Matazo, the Belgian is passing to Romac but he can't keep the possession, now counter attack for Lillestrom, Granit guard, Ed, Granit guard, Mmm. Ha ha ha. And Rugland. Ah, I forgot to put uh, Peterson in. Rugland is our backup goalie. But what a save by Rugland. Gelhart in the penalty box. Romach. Matazo. Hannibal. Matazo getting blocked. Msomi with the tackle. We're getting dominated right now by Lillestrom. Diaby. And again Rugland with the save. to be very careful 25th minute let's survive this mm, offside this was offside Gelhart 6-5, Hellesvik 6-5. Haniba, Butelezi, Hellesvik in the box. Very good, very good pass to Gelhart. And a great shot, but blocked by. Lillestrom defenders, we get a corner, 9 minutes until halftime, 
Come on, Butta Lady, score one more. How much? Again, Lillestrom uh, starts a counter. Something is not clicking there up front. Easy, Sony with the clearance. Good, Hannibal. Can we hit him on the counter? Gelhart, come on, guys. One more before halftime. Hannibal, Hannibal in the box. Bad angle. Don't shoot from there, you idiot. Romach with the corner again. Okay, the ratings are better now. So, halftime, one nothing for Asane at Lillestrom. Delighted. Let's keep it going. So Butelezi is our new captain because Welsh left the club. He was uh, he was the captain for the last two years. Gelhart yellow card and six point four rating. Okay, so it's time for him to get subbed. Let's see here. What do we? What can we do? Should we give him another 10 minutes? I think it's the best choice. Okay, 10 more minutes. Especially if we score one more goal. Man, it's raining again. It's sunny, but raining. Grow them Matazo with the steal, but we're oh, and hit the post. We're we're under pressure. Lillestrom is looking more and more that they're gonna tie the game. The problem is that our strikers are losing the ball so quick. And our midfielders and central defenders, they're not, they don't have enough time to, to, uh, to rest. So every single time they're under pressure, they get tired. And eventually at some point they're going to collapse. They're going to, you know, we're going to eat a goal. That's the whole idea. We need our strikers and wingers to hold the ball up front there a little bit. Stop losing it immediately again. Lillestrom with the counter. And Rugland, what a save. Yeah, we need to make a... We need to make a sub, definitely. Something is not clicking, like I said, up front. Gelhard 6-4 and Balach 6-5. So, let's see how this fit. This guy can play on the right too, okay. So how about we move Helesvik on the right as a winger? Um, Hannibal on the left, back at uh, inside forward, and we bring in Zamburek. Zamburek. We move Butalezi as a attacking midfielder with attack. Back in duty, Zamburek, Metzala, Matazo, deep line playmaker. And as a striker, we're going to leave Balac for 10 more minutes. Let's see if this is going to work.
<laughs> Survival mode. Bodo Glimt is still at 0 0 tying Haugesund away. Come on, guys. If we win this game, we'll have three points in front of them. Come on, let's take this chance. Zamburek with a steal. Let's hit them on a the counter. Come on. Press, press. Desperate attempts from Lillestrom to score that equalizer. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. <clears throat> Romach 6 7. Hannibal 6 5. Balaj 6 5. Man. Romach for Zamburek. Zamburek. Helesvik in the box. What a shot. Oh. Great, great idea by the kid. And corner kick. Romach again. Mm, Msomi. Brevik. Balac is struggling. 14 minutes left. Huck, welcome to the stream and thank you for following. How are you today? Yeah, we need to... Think about subbing Balac and Anibal. Seven minutes left. Eric Rahold for Balac and on the left for Hannibal. Okay, we'll move back. Helisvik inside four on the left. Kamanzi will be a winger on the right and then as a left back we'll bring Amundsen Day. <laughs> yeah, Raholt, exactly. A little bit like Holland. Only the skills are different. <laughs> and the hair. But yeah, let's find out if we can survive last four minutes. No, last seven minutes of the game. Butalezi in the box. Ah, Matazo getting tackled. Um, I'm in 2026 and we collapse right at the end. All the time we do this, man. It's, um, it's 2026, Hawk. In Norway, we, uh, we brought Asane from the second division in Norway to the first, to Elite Syrian, and now we're trying every season to win the league but we're fighting against Bodo Glimt and we're finishing second every year so <laughs> this is my fifth season of the save we're gonna drop two points here I knew this is gonna be a tough one Kamanzi Kamanzi Raholt and Speaking of Raholt, he could have he could have changed the game here. We're lucky that Bodo Glimt is still tying at Haugesund. Uh, what what save are you doing, uh, Hawk? What's your uh, what's your team? Matazo, Zamburek, Butelezi, Halesvik. Matazo, come on. Amundsen Day. And offside. The referee will end the game. 1-1. One, one, one point. 
But let's see now if Bodoglimt beat Haugesund. Unlucky. Unlucky tonight because we almost survived and got the three points. Unemployed until 2034, but now hired at Leverkusen. Oh, okay. Signed Ossiman for 6 million and signing Endrick. Nice, nice. Uh, what team did you manage before uh, Leverkusen? You, uh, you got, you were unemployed and then which uh, team uh, you managed first? Brilliant, what a great goal by Butalesi, yes. Everyone loves the strike from range. Uh, yes, the fans enjoyed that strike, definitely. And we're still first. Oh, but man, if we would have won this game. Ah, we're still one point in front of Bodo Glint with 10 games left. So wait, you were unemployed for 14, no, for 12 years? <laughs> no, you have to, like, you had to have, like, a team until 2034. Come on, man. I, I can't, you know, be unemployed for 12 years. Like, it's, it's just impossible. Really? Oh, my God. <laughs> Why? Oh, you simulated. Okay. But why did you go that uh, that deep? Without, uh, you know, managing anyone. Okay, so... Paras... Come on. We need you, man. Say yes. Oh, regions. Yeah. Yep. Understandable. I I started with Asane from the second division. We were an um, amateur club, semi-professional club, and we're still struggling to win the league here. It's it's really really tough. Bodo Glimt is way way better than us. Well, good luck to you, man. Good luck with your uh, with your Leverkusen save, and really really appreciate you stopping by. Spurs only new trophy was Papa John's. Yeah. Yeah, we're uh, almost um, almost. At the uh, end of the stream, guys. Let's see if, if we press continue one more time. Maybe, maybe we can find out if Paras will join us. Let's see. How many days left until the end of the transfer window? Uh. 23rd. Okay, we ne we have another eight days left. With the money that we have right now, it's either this guy from Red Red Bull Leipzig or another Norwegian, maybe another Norwegian striker. All right, one million one hundred thirty-seven thousand, and Benjamin. Thorsen Faras. We don't have the full uh, attributes scouted yet. 20 years old, Norwegian. Let's press continue until our game on against Apollon Limassol and then we'll uh, end it there. Maybe in two days we'll have more updates with this guy. And he can play many positions. Very versatile player. Oh, 
it's 14 million seven hundred fifty thousand record transfer income this year okay let's choose the new captain Butalezi is our new captain and Brevik will be the vice captain. German Bravo is this guy. I didn't even know we have a Colombian goalie in our under 19 squad. Okay, so for wages, we have 700,000, around 700,000 available. It might go through without even selling the other guy. So. The deal for Benjamin Faras, well, it might go through even without us selling Patterson. We have a scouting assignment for Norway. Uh, we're looking for players between the age of 15 and 19. It's going to be an ongoing assignment. Hopefully in the future we can bring the best Wonder Kids, best Norwegian Wonder Kids at Asane. Questions about Matazo if he deserves international call up, of course. A few more continues, guys. I'm really curious if we can sign this winger slash inside forward from Leipzig I like the potential I like the age we need to see the skills the full profile to make our final decision press conference before the game Balac is gonna join Romania for the international break they are gonna play against Denmark and Netherlands And he rejected our contract. Too good to be true. And we have Gerhard injured. 
but that's it for today guys uh you know i'm gonna play probably later on my own a few more hours and uh scout for you know some more players uh, eight more days until the end of the uh, the transfer window so maybe tomorrow when we start a stream we'll have new names joining the squad thank you for joining pixel bassmurf hawk thank you guys for being here Enjoy the rest of the day and uh, I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.